This is how to set up your PlayStation DJ Hero turntable in our PCS3. Let's get started. Okay, so the only tool you need this to get it to work is Zadig. Yup, just Zadig. Link in the description to download it. Before you open up Zadig, just make sure the dongle is hooked up to your PC. Just hook it up to one of the USB slots that's available and that's it. Okay, so now we're in Zadig, so here's what you got to do here. Go to Options and make sure List All Devices is checked. Now, you go select your device and look for Guitar Hero 5 for PS3. Next, you have to select a driver. I say go with WinUSB. So you select WinUSB and then you click on Install Driver. Mine is shown as reinstall driver because I've already installed WinUSB. It will take some time to install the driver. Uh, the installation can take up to like 5 minutes or so. But it, it shouldn't take too long so. Okay, once it's done you get this message. It means it's successfully installed so. You're pretty much done with Zadig, so on to our PCS3. Okay, so now we're in our PCS3, so here's how you set it up there. So right click on the DJ Hero game, then click on Create Custom Gamepad Configuration. Now for players 1 through 7, I just set handlers to null, but if you have a buddy who's using a Xbox 360 or a Wii turntable, then either player 1 or 2, uh, the handler should be set to something else. But we're not going to go through that since this video is mainly about the PS3 turntable. So, But yeah, player 1 through 7, handler set to null, click save, and we're done. So just open up the game, and yeah. Now the good thing about setting up the PS3 turntable is you don't have to go through the hassle of like binding like the buttons on everything on the turntable so that's the good part. Alright so just press the button on the turntable and as you can see it, it's working. And it's simple as that so that is how you set up your PS3 turntable in RPCS3 for the DJ Hero game. Now, if you're having issues with the PS3 turntable not working on RPCS3, here's what you got to do. So for the dongle, you should try unplugging it and then plug it back in in a different USB slot. And then you do the same step in Zadig. Now in Zadig, Instead of using WinUSB, you should try using LibUSBK or LibUSB Win32. Okay, if that method doesn't work, it will probably be best to seek some help in the DJ Hero fan server since they'll help you out with almost anything DJ Hero related. So if you have a any issues, you should seek help on the DJ Hero fan server. Okay, well that's going to be it for this video, so if this video helped you out, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. With all that, I'll see you next time. Goodbyes.